Hi, I'm Amar Katranji. I'm a periodontist here at the office specializing in implants. Today I'd like to talk to you about what is an implant. A lot of people have these questions and today we'd like to go through some of the questions that people have. A lot of times people lose a tooth and when they lose a tooth they have options. One of the options is to do a dental implant. The first step is removing a tooth. Once that tooth is removed, a process occurs in the body where the bone starts to dissolve. That bone needs to be retained um, and what we do is something called a bone graft. So when we take a tooth out we typically will do a bone graft first. When the implant goes, when the bone graft goes in it takes about three months before it's ready for uh, placement of an implant. The implant replaces the root of the tooth. So the implant looks like a screw but it works like the root of the tooth. And as we talked about that bone loss that occurs happens when you lose a tooth because the root is gone. The implant will work like the root and preserve the bone. When it goes in, it also takes about three months to anchor into the bone. When it finally anchors into the bone, it'll be ready for a tooth. And what your general dentist does, or your restorative dentist, will place an abutment, which is an attachment to the implant, and allows for a crown to go on top of that. So there are three parts to the implant the part that we typically do here which is the implant and then there's another part called the abutment that's the piece that attaches the implant to the crown and those are typically done at your general dentist's office when this is complete it typically cannot be uh, distinguished between the teeth around it and what's nice about an implant is you can floss around the implant if you decide not to do an implant another option is a bridge what a bridge is is when they take the teeth next to the space and cut them down and create a bridge that goes from one tooth to the other to support a false tooth in the middle. The problem with this is you cannot floss between it and in some cases we'll see decay occur in between those areas and the tooth on either side might be lost because of it. If that happens the whole bridge is lost. So what's very interesting about an implant is it separates the teeth. If something happens to one side of the, of, of the bridge, it happens to the whole bridge. With an implant, you don't have to worry about that. Another thing that we, we really like about implants is, as we talked about, the bone that occurs, the loss of bone that, that happens, still occurs with a bridge, whereas with an implant, the implant maintains the bone. So those are some of the differences between an implant and a bridge. And again, if you have any questions at all about this and you'd like to schedule a consultation, please give us a call and we'd be happy to discuss them. Thank you very much.